Hello, friends. Whoa. Ooh, look at you. I'm gonna get closer because there's a lot of weird sounds in my house, so I don't know if any of this audio is actually gonna turn out. You read the title, we're cleaning today. We're cleaning because one, my apartment is pretty messy, obviously. <laughs> and two, I'm having cat sitters next week and I want the house to look good, you know? This is gonna be a little different from my last two body doubling videos because one, it's not my office. Ow! You're going crazy. We're not doing my office today. We are focusing on the living room, the kitchen, and my bathroom. And two, it's a little different because it's not gonna be real time. I'm gonna try to get done cleaning in two hours, which I guess isn't that long, but still I don't wanna edit two hours of footage. So it's gonna be as real time as I can get it. And also, like I mentioned earlier, there are just a lot of weird noises in the rest of my apartment, so I will probably put music over most of the video. Why did I sit down? Okay, I'm standing now. Okay, before I clean, there's a few steps I need to do. And if you're cleaning with me, feel free to join along. First one is to pick up your cat, who doesn't like being picked up. Sorry, buddy. We need hydration. We need comfy clothes. I like to clean with indoor shoes on, uh, which are my Croc slides. I don't know. It just feels good to like be separated from my floor. I feel like I have more power <laughs> over my surroundings, so I have my shoes on. Also, this isn't one of the steps, but I got a tattoo and it's very cute. And you guys will definitely see it in other videos. I'm gonna keep looking down at him for inspiration. And the next step is to just like move around. Do some little stretches. Do a little dance. This looks crazy <laughs> from this angle. Just move your body a little bit. And I'm not gonna put on music, but you could put on some music or a podcast. No TV shows, because we're not gonna get distracted. I'm sweating already. Okay, now let me just give you a quick walkthrough of what we are dealing with today. So this is my bathroom. The bathroom is not too bad. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't take my camera off the tripod. I just have a lot of clutter and the, the countertops need washed. Let's go, kitties. Let's go. This is my kitchen, which might be the worst part. Just a lot of dishes and clutter. It's not very workable. Don't know why that's on the floor. And then we have the living area. Which has definitely been worse. Baby May. Oh, she's so warm. Wow. She had a checkup at the vet yesterday, so she's very tired from being so brave. Don't terrorize your sister. Okay, I like to have a formula for cleaning, so I do it in steps around all the rooms. If you want to screenshot this, these are the steps that I follow when I'm cleaning. And they won't work for everybody, but they work for me. So, so number one is trash because that's the easiest to find and it's the grossest. So let's find some trash. Here's a piece of tape. Uh, <laughs> My sleeve of saltines that I ate 10 minutes ago. There's really not that much trash over here. Let's go to the kitchen. A convenient trash pile already by the stairs. I'm obviously gonna take the trash out of it. The 
This is technically trash, but I'm assuming my boyfriend's saving it for something, so... It'll go right there. Gas station Sweet Baby Ray's. I got this water also at the gas station and it's not good. <laughs> it tastes like a burp. So there's no trash in my bathroom except for the trash in the trash can, but I'm just gonna take that trash out. <laughs> How many times did I say trash? Um, right before we leave because I'm obviously gonna put more trash in there. And it's not even that full, so big trash. I got sweaty and changed into a tank top. After trash, I like to do the dishes. Hello. Oh, you guys are so hungry. Luckily, there's not many dishes out today. I say that like we're in the wilderness. <laughs> One dishes. Two dishes. This coffee's actually really good the next day. <laughs> this is the part where I would usually do the dishes, but my dishwasher is very loud. So whenever my camera dies, I will do the dishes. The next step I like to do is clothes because I tend to throw my clothes everywhere. So the clothes are getting thrown into the closet. Or just any laundry. Like that kitchen towel that is on the floor for some reason. Okay, now the easy stuff is done. It's not always that easy. Hi. But the next step now is putting things in the rooms or on the surfaces that they belong. So this is usually what takes a while.
If you know, you know. Comment a masquerade mask. If you know. We're getting rid of this table. Eventually. And it's just been kind of here, so I'm not really going to worry about this. So after things are rearranged, I like to do surface cleaning because theoretically the only things on the surfaces are the things that belong there. I think I am going to run the dishes right now because there's going to be probably two batches of dishes. So I'm going to run the first batch of dishes while I surface clean in the bathroom and hopefully it won't be too loud.
I hate cleaning the bathroom. I closed the door, but it still sounds kind of bad. Come on, Miles. Oh, well, we're just going to have to deal with it. I don't need to clean the bathroom that much because I cleaned it a few, like two weeks ago, I did a little deep clean. Are you going in or out, buddy? But my strategy for, like, reoccurring, just simple, everyday bathroom clean is starting from the top down, like I do in most rooms. So the mirrors are first, and then I take everything off of surfaces, brush all the hair and stuff off of them, and then surface clean with just some Mrs. Myers. And then I move on to the floor. Hi! Hi buddy, you gonna come up here and be in the video? So yeah, just cleaning every surface from the walls down to the floor. So it's gonna take a while. Now I'm realizing, since we're at the cleaning, actual cleaning stage, that some of you may notice that I'm not doing things in like a way that a professional would, <laughs> would recommend, um, or just like other, like cleaning influencers. That's because I'm not a cleaning influencer. Maybe I influence you to clean, which is great. But I don't know what I'm doing. All I know is that I'm depressed and disabled and I have no energy. And when I do have energy, I need simple methods that make my space feel clean and inviting and comfortable. So that's what I'm doing here. Tips are always appreciated in the comments, but anything that's just like negative and would make other people reading the comments feel bad about themselves that kind of stuff is going to get deleted but i do always welcome other people's cleaning tips a fallen soldier a fallen stinky soldier i'm gonna go oh. i'm gonna go bury him in a plant
Okay, the bathroom is mostly done. I'm going to vacuum the bath mat when I get the vacuum out for the carpet. And I don't have any like floor cleaner right now, so I'm not gonna mop right now, but this is good enough for now. Now with all the dishes out of the way. Why did you just sound like a dinosaur? Come here. Why do you sound like that? Big girl. Anyway, I forgot this one dish, but there will be more dishes. Now I can surface clean the kitchen, which I usually start with the walls, if there's like any splatter on the walls, and then the appliances, because they get dusty and flowery. And then the stove, which I'll bring you over here. I need to get a stove cleaner because I don't want to just spray it with Mrs. Myers because I don't think that's a good idea. I don't know for sure, but the burners are really dirty. And luckily we don't have gas stoves, gas, a gas stove, but we were, or my boyfriend was making breakfast yesterday and this burner caught on fire. Or rather, a like piece of pasta from the other night that was stuck under the burner caught on fire. And that was very stressful, so... I'm not gonna do it in this video, but before we leave, I'm gonna go get some stove cleaner and take apart the burners and really scrub those. But today we're just cleaning the... top surface level of the burners. <laughs>
You may have noticed me just pushing a bunch of crumbs on the floor. Uh, that's because that's what I do. Because I don't want to put crumbs in my hands. It makes me uncomfortable. But it's fine, because I'm sweeping it up anyway. Pete. Pete is leaking. A little bit. getting sweaty and I want to see if my hair is long enough to put up in one ponytail I think it might be finally oh look here's one that conveniently on the ground thank you miles it's not really long enough to put up but it's off my neck so that's what matters and I got more water so now what we got to surface clean the living room and there's a lot of surfaces in here
Okay, now we're on to my least favorite step of cleaning, which is vacuuming. I keep itching Pete. I just really hate vacuums. They're loud and they're heavy and vacuuming is stressful, but it really, really needs done. So I'm going to get everything off the floor and I think I need to start with the couch because the couch is very furry. So we'll start with the hard part and then Okay, anyway. Mo always likes to find little treasures in the middle of the night, whoops, and drop them in the middle of the hallway. So these were her treasures for the last few days.
walk you through the setup. <laughs> so we already did the bathroom. I think I think I already showed it to you clean, so that was kind of pointless. But this is the kitchen. Looking so much cleaner. This is by no means like a deep cleaning, but it's definitely deeper than I would clean on a weekly basis. Hi Miles. I'm so out of breath from vacuuming. So it's looking a little more like I would be proud to have people over. It's not exactly aesthetic, but it's like, it's clean, you know? Whew. Okay, I'm so sweaty. I think that's where I'm gonna stop today because I have to leave for work now. <laughs> and there's only a few more things that I need to do before we leave for vacation, but I can do that right before we leave. So usually when I'm cleaning, my next two steps are smells. So this is where I do the litter box. I take the trash out, which I'm going to do on my way to work. I did the litter boxes earlier off camera um, while my battery was charging. And then this is where I'd also like light some candles or some wax warmers but I'm not gonna do that since I'm leaving. I'll just do that when I get home. So after everything's smelling good, then an extra bonus step would be like beautification. Like, I guess I kind of did this as I went today, but just, I don't know, like tidying your shoes up or tidying the tops of your counter spaces to look like how you want them to look. Now for little treats and today's little treat of the day, which feels very good on my skin, is brought to you, well, brought to me, I guess, by Leanne Stubbs, who is my first, is it coffee or Ko-Fi supporter? So thank you, Leanne. If you also appreciate what I do and you want to help support the channel or you just want to give me a little treat because <laughs> I love a little treat, I will shout you out and my Ko-Fi coffee, whatever it's called, is linked in the description. And this is, I just found it at the grocery store. It's called Cool Out. It's a Delta 8 infused seltzer, which I think is just CBD. I don't know, let's try it real quick. It tastes exactly like a LaCroix, but like a little bit better. And maybe it'll calm me the F down. All right, I'm gonna go to work. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it inspired you to do a little bit of cleaning for yourself because you deserve to have a nice environment. And I'm gonna be late if I don't shut up and get going. So, bye.